Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and welcome to the second week of Advent 2019 and my series based on Isaiah 9-6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And each of the weeks I'm focusing on a different title for Jesus and doing a page in a very sort of impressionistic style of watercolor for each one of these. They're relatively easy to do. This one doesn't even require a sketch. You just need an arc to start with. So I have an arc drawn on here. You can put it at the top or the bottom, wherever you want to put your words, put your words. I put the word reveal on there because I'm asking Jesus to reveal more deeply to my heart during this Advent season, more understanding of each of these titles. What what does that mean to me and how does it apply to my life so that I can trust him more and that as, as I prepare my heart for Christmas, that I'll be more ready by understanding it more. So for this globe that we're creating, we're just doing the absolute edge of the earth as God's mighty power breathed on the earth and created. I'm just doing a flood of yellow and orange kinds of colors, and I'm going to be covering up a lot of this. So not really a need to do anything other than have a swash of yellow going across that center section. And then I wanted to have a little bit of a blue, I guess, haze around the earth. So I'm painting some blue with a lighter blue across the whole thing, and then I'm adding a little bit darker blue around the edges so that I can have that, that burst in the middle of the, the little, little light burst that's going to be happening there. And then I'm going to start layering on colors. And there's if you think about this as a little piece of land that's appearing, I just want to leave some of that warm color up there in the, the center and then start layering colors on top of it. And I am one who loves contrast, and I really wanted to have a super nice contrast between the starburst that's going to be on the page and the rest of the, the color. I want the earth to go really dark at the bottom and the sky to go really dark at the top and just have that slice across the artwork, across the page, and, and be able to, to really focus in on that burst of light so that that's going to be the one really important focus. Now one of the things that happened as I used my baby wipe to move color around, the red disappeared and that sort of got it into like a weird looking color. So I just add more on top. If you don't like the color that's there, just paint some more. You can take a baby wipe and with Bible paper, it wipes off really easily. I mean, it doesn't go completely to white, but you can dab off a whole lot. Even if it's already dried, use a really wet baby wipe, or if it you know really struggles, just put some water on it first. You know, Paint some clean water on top, and then do some dabbing. And it usually takes off a good bit of that extra color if you got something you didn't like. So for the top section, I'm gonna, again, paint that really dark color. I had some issues with some of that bleeding down into the bottom because I am not good at waiting for things to dry. So I had some, some bleeding issues, but I knew I was just gonna keep getting darker and darker, so I didn't really care a whole lot that, that I had that going on. I'm just gonna paint some color at the top, and I'm gonna add texture to all of this by just tapping it with a baby wipe. And that's gonna give me a real nice texture on top. If you want to dry something, like if you're trying to get to the next layer, don't point the heat gun at your Bible. I like to just lift up the page using the piece of paper that I have underneath that keeps all the paint from dripping down the side of my Bible. And I just lift it up and then kind of blow the air sideways across the page rather than hit the Bible itself because you'll just start warping all the pages and you don't wanna warp pages until you're actually working on them because they're going to warp anyway. That's just the nature of Bible paper. But here I've got that nice dark color and I've put it in the palette and then I can even dab from the palette onto the paper with the baby wipe. And if you want to keep getting darker, then just wait for that layer to dry and put on another layer. When you're all done and you're ready to, to really go, I mean, you can iron in between, but before you do the starburst or the sunburst or whatever this little 
little burst is, you do need to iron it well because you're not going to be able to iron it after you get the next step done. And I used a pen to just kind of curl the paper back so that it laid a little bit flatter there. And then I took a white pen. And this particular white pen that I like to use, it's a Signo Uniball pen. And this one has, that's kind of, I think of it as an acrylic in it. So you don't want to heat that. You don't want to iron that. It's going to get stuck to whatever you have it on top of. That's why you want to make sure you do this step after you finished all ironing. You don't want to iron on top of that again. Um, and if you have to, then just do it super lightly, super quick, because it'll melt and your paper will get stuck on top and your iron will get stuck and yeah. So I'm going to make the burst in the center by just drawing a cross and then an X and then using my finger to smush the wet ink. So this pen, like I said, it's got acrylic-ish inside of it. And you can probably do a lot of this just with a white pen. But if you don't have a white pen that works really well with this, you can also use acrylic paint. And you don't even have to put it onto something. You can actually take your brush and stick it right into the top of the tube of acrylic paint. Doesn't matter what kind, what brand, just some, some white paint. You can even steal from your kids, borrow from your kids, sorry, <laughs> and use a little bit of white paint to make the starburst. Just make sure you're, if you're using a brush, wash that brush out really good, really quick, because you don't want to ruin any of your nice watercolor brushes. And then I've got a clean brush with just water on it and I'm spreading the color so I get that really soft edge. And I did this one in uh, Revelation 1 where it talks about uh, God being almighty, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega. And that's what I thought, thought of verse-wise for this, revealing his almighty power. And I will continue with this series again next week. So I hope you'll join me next Sunday. Thank you very much. God bless you.